All right, what's up guys? Today I'm doing a quick little video on how to install mods for FTL faster than light. We're gonna be using Captain's Edition as an example, but this will work for any mod you wanna install for the game. So you really, it's actually pretty simple. You really only need one thing. So let's just get right into it. Uh, that thing, it'll be in the description, I'll put the link, but you need Slipstream Mod Manager right here. So this is kind of what you use to man, well, it's a mod manager, you manage the mods and it lets you open the game way easier and it's just kind of, it's a very streamlined way to do it and it's really the only way to do it. So I'll put the link again, but if you come to this page here, you're gonna download the latest version for Mac or Linux or Windows, whatever you're on. It actually, luckily <laughs> for FTL, it's such an old game that it doesn't really update. So you probably won't have any problems with this, but you'll download that, okay? The other one you're gonna need, other link you're gonna need is the master mod list, which I'll put in the description as well. So this is, you know, FTL doesn't have like a Nexus page really or anything like that. Instead, it has this really cool list of just every single mod that's pretty much ever <laughs> existed for the game. So you've got your overhauls, your massive, you know, game balance changes like Captain's Edition, right? But there's a ton of stuff like a flagship randomizer, disable the enemy fleet, a bunch of stuff. You can look through all these. Visual stuff is kind of my favorite category. It doesn't change the game too much, just makes it look cooler. So there's the extended pursuit indicator here that I always use in my videos. Uh, the sh detailed ship greebles makes your ships look more realistic. I really like crew diversity. It makes like Zoltan have cooler colors. NG have different lights on their faces, etc. It's just a really cool diversity mod. Then there's like ship gear, like weapon packs, stuff like that. Ship packs that you for like enemy ships you can fight and then player ships that you can actually control. And there's a freaking lot of them. So you guys can look through that if you want to find some cool stuff. But for now, we're just going to be doing Captain's Edition, which is what you're here for. So if we open this up, there's a ton of information here that you definitely should read. It gives a bunch of info about the mod, what it does, what it changes, what you should do. But the important part, if you scroll down to the download links, there are a ton of different download links. Now, Captain's Edition has a bunch of stuff you can install but you really only need these first two right here if you just wanna play Captain's Edition, the base mod. There's other stuff that like puts your the vanilla ships kind of back to normal. There's like endless loot down here, infinite, there, you know, more, more than eight sectors just goes for infinite time. You can do all that if you want, but for now we're just gonna to stick to the basic stuff. You're gonna, so if you are just trying to do the basic Captain's Edition, you're gonna download the resource pack you need here, which is textures, audio files, things like that. Click download. You're gonna get the actual Captain's Edition, click download. I already have them, so I'm not going to. Take a little bit of time. And yeah, once you have those two, you're pretty much good to go. So we can actually, let's just open this up. I totally have WinRAR, don't worry about that. So you're gonna open up, you need WinRAR. You know, if you don't have WinRAR or know how to in 2021, look that up because that's, you need that. <laughs> um, so you'll, you'll open up your WinRAR that you just downloaded a Slipstream Mod Manager. You have the file in here. You're gonna to wanna to extract that to wherever. I'll just put it onto my desktop to make it easy. So once you have this down here and you have the mods, you open up Slipstream Mod Manager. This is what you're gonna see. As a couple folders and a bunch of random EXEs and jars and stuff, you're gonna go into the mods folder, okay? It starts you with two random mods. The, the beginning scrap advantage like gives you more scrap. It's like an extra easy mode, kind of cheaty. And the NG scrap advantage, it gives you, it's like, I don't know, NG get more scrap, something dumb, whatever. You don't need these, these are just for example, but you can leave them in there. So what you're gonna do is take the Captain's Edition, the resource pack, or whatever else you downloaded, Pursuit Indicator, Crew Diversity, blah, blah, blah. You're just gonna drag them in, drop them in like that. They should be FT .ftl files. If they're not, make sure they are. Maybe there'll be certain mods come in like WinRAR folders or, or they're zipped or whatever. So make sure they're just .ftl files. There should be a blank page like this. So once they're in there, you're good to go. You can head back a little bit. You're then going to open up modman.jar. Now you need Java for this as well, but again, if, if you don't have Java in 2021, just Google Java. <laughs> okay, so you open up the modman.jar, it's gonna prompt you with this. It says you'll now be prompted to locate FTL manually, look in FTL directory to, to select FTL.dat. And then if you're on Mac, it's gonna be this. But this is for PC, Windows. So you're gonna press okay, and it's gonna bring you to your PC. So find your FTL file. It should be in, If I assume you have it on Steam, most people do. If you have it on Steam, it should be in the Steam directory, which I'll go to now. It's on my hard drive, I believe. Program files, Steam. You're gonna go to Steam apps, common. You're gonna find FTL down here. And you're gonna click on FTL.dat, like it said, do open. Okay, it says, was FTL installed via Steam? More likely than not, you're gonna say yes. Steam was found here, yes, that is correct. 
Would you prefer to launch FTL directly or via Steam? You can do whatever, um, but you probably want to just do Steam just to you know synchronize everything. So just click Steam here and check for updates. There probably won't be any updates for this mod, but you know you might as well do yes or no depending on what you need to. I'm gonna just do no. And then this is the mod manager. So as you can see, it has everything we have in that folder. So the scrap advantage and the ng scrap advantage, right? Which we don't care about, but those are there. And the cap position resource pack in the captain's edition itself. Now you can have a ton of mods in here, but this is where things become kind of important. The mod load order. So you can drag these things around to move them around like this, right? And especially with captain's edition, there's a certain order in which you need to do things. So for example, if you had more stuff, you, you, there's a whole list on the Captain's Edition website. But if you just want to do Captain's Edition, put the resource pack up at the top, check it off. Put Captain's Edition in the mod itself, check it off. And we're not going to be doing these because these are kind of lame, right? But then anything else, generally the best thing to do is things that don't change the game, like visual things can go above, right? And things that change the game like overhauls or ship changes, stuff like that should go to the bottom because it loads in order. So it'll load the top thing and then it'll put more stuff under it. So this is the way you want to do it for Captain's Edition. If you have other stuff, you can mess around with a little, but things like the Pursuit Indicator pretty much always go to the top. Anything you want prioritized should go right to the top. So we'll do this. Once you're good to go, you're going to hit Patch. It's going to do this. It's going to think. And once it is done here, you can either, you can do no if you want to open up your Steam and everything. And actually my Steam is not open, but we're going to do yes here. Um, there we go. It's going to open up, ignore the kind of buggy loading menu. But in a second here, boom, Capsis Edition has been loaded. We're good to go. So that's pretty much it, guys. You know, any other mods you want to do, just go read in there in the list and everything, and you'll be pretty much good to go. It's a very straightforward process. Let me know if you guys have any questions, and please make sure to subscribe. I make a ton of actual FTL content, gameplay, tier lists, things like that. So if you want to see more of that, stick around, give me a subscribe. I love making the content. I love seeing you guys watch it. So... Thank you so much for watching and hope you guys have a great day. See ya.